compilation of Final Fantasy VII. Some people like it, some people have feelings toward it. Nevertheless, there is no denying just how popular things like Crisis Core and Advent Children are, and how influential they were at their release. Back in 2017, director Tetsuya Nomura stated that the compilation and the remake no longer have any continuity together. It left the canonicity of the compilation uncertain for years. Well, in a recent interview with Final Fantasy VII Remake producer Yoshinori Kitase, he shed a little bit of light on the canonicity of the compilation, with Kitase saying, quote, The compilation of Final Fantasy VII was a series of expansions to Final Fantasy VII's world that took place after the story of the main game. So we kind of consider that as having been completed. And now FF7R is maybe a new start. It's a new thing. It's not really part of the compilation. This is how we view it. So depending on how much you like or disdain the compilation, this is a message of love or a terrible thing. However, Kitase did not stop there. He continued by saying, quote, Having said that though, even though Final Fantasy VII Remake kind of represents a new start of the universe as such, we have very much taken into account all the extra additions to the world. In the story that we put into the compilation games and movies, they're all presented in the backdrop and in the background of the FF7 universe. So they're all worked in there and into the story somewhere. Essentially what this means is that the compilation doesn't have a one-for-one -one continuity with the remake. This, however, does not mean that they're throwing away all the compilation ideas and stories. To the contrary, much of the lore of those stories is being implemented into Final Fantasy VII Remake. And so while they don't directly lead in and lead out of Final Fantasy VII Remake directly, many of the additional backstories are being placed into the game. So does this make the compilation canon or not canon? The answer is a mix somewhere in between the two. Much of the backstory of games like Crisis Core and Before Crisis will be making their way into Final Fantasy VII Remake, but they probably aren't going to be presented in the same light. It's just more like they're taking those stories and fitting them into the new story. And just like how things from the original Final Fantasy VII aren't staying the same, neither are things from the compilation. And Kitase saying in a separate interview, quote, I can't give you the full details exactly how many times or when they're referenced or anything like that, but what I I want to let you know is that all the lore from the works created after the original game, the compilation of Final Fantasy VII, that is very much in the base canon for the remake, and going forward it will be too. It's both a very simple and complicated situation at the same time. The compilation lore is canon, however, it doesn't have any direct continuity with the remake. It's Weird, I know. However, what this seems to mean, expect all of the lore of the compilation, but don't expect it to be presented in the exact same way that it was. They will be referencing those stories, but it's not going to be a hard requirement to go consume all of the compilation media in order to make sense of all of this. Which honestly, I think is a great idea. There were some really interesting bits in the compilation lore, and altogether this helps create a more cohesive Final Fantasy VII. I can say that this is probably Probably the best reconciliation for people who didn't like the compilation and for those who did enjoy it. But with that said, Ultima Weapons, I want to know what you think. Are you happy to see compilation lore being used in the remake? And speaking of which, how do you feel about the compilation of Final Fantasy VII? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you've been enjoying my content, consider checking out the Patreon for the Night Sky Prince, where thanks to people like Alfred Dominguez, all the Final Fantasy, Square Enix, and JRPG related videos are made possible. So if you're interested in supporting the channel directly, there's a link in the description below. Shout out to Alfred and the rest of the Ultima community.